G'day everyone, it's Annette here and welcome to my channel. This week I wanted to show you a resin beach scene that I've been doing. It's taken me about three weeks to actually get to the end of this. There was a few things that went wrong, so I've decided to do a voiceover on this video and explain what I perceived as not quite right and how I fixed it. One of the big things is that I had aimed for this to be purple. Anyway, let's get started. To begin with, I prep my board and I protect the back with some plastic. This is not a Montmartre board, but it is a 40 centimeter wooden round. And then I put painter's tape around the edges and then trim it close to the edge with a pair of scissors. And on the front, I've done two coats of white gesso which will provide a slightly rough surface for the uh, resin to stick to. If I wanted a white beach, I'd just leave this white, but I want my beach to be a black beach. So I'm going to use this black gesso and a foam brush and mark in uh, where I want my front of the beach to be. In various parts throughout this video, I will speed up sections that I think are pretty self-explanatory. I had over two hours of recordings and to reduce the size of the video so it wasn't too boring, I've, I've just gone fast in some spots. Once I've got it roughly marked in, I'll leave this to dry. Then I need to mix up my sand area. And for that, I'm using some modeling paste, some black drawing ink, and some fine black sand. I decant some of the modeling paste into a separate cup and then I'm using the black drawing ink to make a black color. This is one of the areas where I had trouble with. I thought the, the um, black permanent drawing ink would um, turn this white modeling paste pretty dark pretty fast but it took about half an hour and lots of mixing and eventually I got it to the darkest color that I wanted it so that when I put the black sand over the top you can't see um, a light grey or a white underneath. Once I finally had it dark enough, and I think it took about 80 mils of the drawing ink to get it to this dark colour, I scooped out it all over the black area that I marked in with the gesso and then used a palette knife to sort of push it around. I created a little bit of a ridge up into the sand hills and then uh, lower into the ocean. While it was still wet, I put some sparkle powder into my black fine sand, mixed it together and sprinkled that all over the top. I left it out in the sun for about four hours and used a rough brush to uh, knock off any of the sand. And as you can see, I've got a little ledge there, hopefully to sort of hold the water in where I want it to go. I decided to add a few more features and I did that by actually putting some sand into the remainder of the white modelling base and the black drawing ink um, mix that I had. Sort of put bits where I think um, maybe my beach might be jutting out into the water and then added some rocks as well and some small pebbles. When I was happy with it, I put it in the sun to dry, dusted off any loose bits again with the brush and this is how it looked after that. I've mixed up my resin and I'm starting with Just Resin Art Coat. I don't have any of their Ocean Coat at the moment. The Art Coat and the Diamond Coat take about an hour to start to cure. So the first thing I always do is mix up my white and put it aside so it can thicken. And that the white is just resin titanium white and about 10 mils of uh, mixed resin. The next colour I want to mix up is Colour Obsession Moody Seas. Whenever I use a pigment paste for resin, I stir it really well. For this particular colour, I've never used it before, but I decided to scrape off most of the colour because it looks very dark. This will be my furthest away colour closest to what I think would be the horizon. I've mixed it up really well and put that aside. My next colour is Just Resin Thalo Blue. Again, it's a minimal amount of my stick and mix well. My third colour is Just Resin and it's called Midnight Violet. I'm surprised as I mix this one, um, it comes out looking quite pink, but in the pot it actually looked purple. Anyway, we'll see how it goes. 
Then I decanted about um, 10 mils of mixed resin, maybe 20. Added a little bit of the sparkle powder and also some A1 Pigments Australia Super Flash Blue. And this um, little mixture I'll put just behind the wave and hopefully when I blow it out it'll blow a bit of sparkle backwards. The next thing I did was add some um, powders to each of my colours and I will list what I put into each little pot down below. Um, it was mainly uh, the Super Flash Blue in with the bluish colours and the Moody Seas and a little bit of sparkle powder in all three and then some uh, Starlight Violet which is another A1 Pigment Australia colour into the Midnight Violet. Now everything is mixed up, it's time to get started on the beach. It's about 20 minutes since I've mixed my resin. I've left a bit of clear aside to mark in where I want my wave to go. I put my colours nearby. I've got my board elevated up on some upturned plastic cups. I mark in where I want the front of my first wave to go with the clear. Remember I've done like a, a bit of a ledge there. So I put a bit extra of the clear in. Once that's in, I'll pour in some of that clear that I mixed with the Super Flash Blue and uh, the uh, Sparkle Powder. Then it's time to put in my colours. I usually work front to back or, or um, back to front and this time I've put in the Darkest first which was the Moody Seas, the Thalo Blue and the Midnight Violet. The pink colour of the Midnight Violet is just wearing me. It's just way too pink so I put my heat gun on a mid heat and a high blow it softens the resin and helps move it around and mix with each other and as I blow the phthalo blue at the pink I can see it go makes purple here's a tip always wear two pairs of gloves because when that happened once I'd got it soft enough I used my gloved hand to spread the colors out and also pull the blue and the pinky color in together to make the purple color that I was after when I put my white up the back, I also put my timer on to be 50 minutes from when I first started mixing my resin. It's gone off now. My resin has gone a bit firmer. It's 20 minutes since I put the colours down. So I have my heat gun on a mid heat and a high blow and I just soften all the resin as I'm about to blow out my wave. I use a popsicle stick, start off my board and finish off my board and run the white along. Next thing I do is I have my heat gun on a high blow, a low heat, and I have it down nearly parallel to my board surface. I'm aiming the blow in behind where my white is laid down. You can see here, this is where I'm hitting another problem. My white is sticking to that ridge that I made and it's not moving. So one way to do this if you're in a closed surface and doing waves is to do what I'm doing here now. Put your heat gun in the opposite direction and blow that white against the barrier. It will hit the barrier and then move forward again. And then you can put your heat gun back in the other direction like I did just then and blow it out further. I'm still not happy with this white this or the resin. There's something which is different. I suspect it might be because it has, it's actually winter here. It hasn't rained for a, about four weeks, but my resin room, I have uh, my little air con on dry usually. But um, yeah, it's just not moving how it usually would. Anyway, I decided to do straight up a second wave in the same way. This time it is moving easier because the white is getting blown out away from where I've put my sand down. But the front of the wave is quite jagged and I'm, I'm not happy with this, but I just leave it. The resin will keep on moving anyway, so I'll have a look at it once it's cured. The next thing I do is I use my small butane. I move rapidly over the white area. Don't stay in one spot or you'll burn it. This heats up the white again and causes it to break apart and create the lacing effect of the wave. The next day I've mixed up my resin again. I've mixed up my three colours. They are more transparent this time and I've added uh, the Just Resin Midnight Violet with the Just Resin Thalo Blue to give me a rich purple colour and try and cover up that pink underneath. I've also mixed up my white and I've put that aside and put my timer on. I lay down the clear right on top of that second wave as I'm going to try and cover up that pink area 
and then pour in my moody C's at the back, my phthalo blue through the middle and the purple colour that I custom made into the front just behind the wave. All my colours have the powders in them to give them shimmer and sparkle again, exactly the same as the first um, time I made up the mix. As you can see, I'm doing everything the same as I did when I did that first layer of waves. Once I've got my, my um, double glove, the first layer off, I realise that my wave is falling forward over the little ledge of my first wave. So I prop it up on some popsicle sticks to encourage the resin to fall backwards a bit. And then I use some isopropyl alcohol, spray it on a baby wipe, wrap it around my finger and slowly and gently remove the bits that have moved too far forward and then I lay in some more clear again. Just behind that I add in a bit of the clear that I've mixed with the sparkle powder and the super flash blue and then blow that backwards a little bit to blend that in and um, hopefully as I said cover up that pink area. My time has gone off and now I'm doing exactly the same thing as I've done previously. Lay in the white, use my heat gun on a low setting and a high blow and parallel nearly to the board and blow that white backwards. On to creating the lacing with the little butane. And as I'm doing this, I'm still not 100% happy with the white. It's just not moving how I would usually expect it to do. Come back in after an hour to check it and some of the white has actually fallen forward again as well. So I'm using the baby wipe and the isopropyl alcohol to slowly and gently tidy up my wave lines. A couple of days have passed now and I actually did that wave a third time and I'm much happier with it. The only thing that I changed was that I put my aircon from a dry setting to a hot warm setting of 27 degrees and now I got what I was after. I'm also loving the depth it's created with the lacing from the other waves underneath. Where the wave is, of course, it's now quite high. So to tidy up the edge a little bit more, I'm using a Posca pen in white and just um, drawing in little bits here and there to cover up any bits that I'm not happy with. I've lost all the purple again and I've totally given up on this being a purple beach now. So the only colour I'm using is a bit of the Moody Seas at the back and clear towards the front. This is my final wave, I hope. <laughs> so I'm just blending it all together, mixing it with my hand. I've mixed up the white and put that out the back and put my timer on again. And this time I'm not going to do a whole white line all the way across. I'm just uh, doing a little bit of white here and there and then blowing it out then hitting it with my butane and moving on to the next bit so that I've mainly got a bit of um, you know sort of white lacing around the rocks. I won't show you every little rock that I did because it was the same process all the way along with putting in the white blowing it out and then using the butane to get uh, the lacing effect. If I didn't like a little bit, I, again, I just used the isopropyl alcohol uh, on a baby wipe, wrapped it around my finger and tidied up the bits I didn't like. So I gradually went all the way across till I got to the right hand side where it's jutting out into the water bit. And I put my white up against that jutting out bit. So it sort of went right out into the water as well and blew that out and did my lacing. Lastly, I just marked in a couple of little tiny dots and blew that out the same way, plus used my little butane. It creates a feathery look, um, more than a wave crashing sort of look when you do that. And I'll bring you in closely at the end so you can see it. When I was done, I covered it up overnight and let everything cure. Finally, a week later, I've come in and I'm putting on my top coat. I'll link up the top to a video that I've done in the past on how you do a top coat. Next are some images of the finished piece and there's still some things I might have changed but overall I'm pretty happy with it and the depth of how it looks like you're looking through the water. Just before I go, thank you everybody for watching. Please consider liking, it helps me out. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them and have a great day everybody.